Hey guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to gomahamaya.com and in this beautiful tutorial, we'll be learning how to fix the issue. The Facebook app ID you entered does not exist. Submit the value was this. So how to fix this issue? So we'll go to developers.facebook.com forward slash apps. So once you are there on this particular links, you have already created some apps. That's why you have that particular app ID. If you does not know how to create a app ID, there's a link in the description box. Go and view that tutorial. That is enough to make that Yoast plugin running condition. So I'll choose this particular app for which this one I, I tried pasting the app ID. So I'll click on this particular app ID and you will get redirected to the dashboard. So once you are on the dashboard, you need to click on setting, then click on basics. Once you are here, next work is to write down the app domain. So I'm going to give my domain that is gomahamaya.com. So I'll remove the last one and then you need to enter your privacy URL. If you have privacy URL in your website forward let's say gomahamaya.com forward slash privacy or uh, next you need to create terms of service uh, for your website if it's there it's fine if it's not there just enter your website link and enter your website link in both the places this is this is just a steps I'm telling you to move to next step although this is not the authentical process to move on you should create a privacy policy page and terms of service page in your website and you should give here next scroll down and next choose category and there you need to select the category my category is education so i'll select educations next i'll click on save changes once your change is saved you need to click here to make your app id live once you'll click on this option you will find switch to live mode the reason is that you are getting that error because the app was not live so these are the things you need to do before make, making that app live privacy url terms of service url and category you need to mention there and once you are done click on switch to live mode And now you will see the app is live mode. Now copy this particular code and go back to your website and there try entering this particular code and say save change. And you will see this time they accepted your app ID and in this area you will find saved setting. So I hope you find this video useful. If you did give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates. Thank you.